just wanna see ya Please give me a sign, yeah Please give me a sign if you wanna Welcome back to Two Cool Guys, Two Hot Picks, the ongoing series where myself and Mark from Legion of Comics give you, the viewer, an opportunity to see what our hot picks are for this upcoming new comic book day. This week provides a whole variety of very hot titles that are coming out. I'm going to throw it over to my main man, Mark, to find out what his hot pick is for this new comic book day. Okay. What is up, Comic Army? I'm Mark from the Legion of Comics, and I'm here to talk about my hot pick for this coming week's new comic book day. So for me, I'm very excited for Justice League Last Ride by Chip Zdarsky. So I'm not sure exactly how this is going to fit into continuity, but I think that it's going to tie loosely into the future state stuff where the Justice League had been disbanded and gone and a huge mystery was surrounding what happened. So I'm hoping that this tells that story leading up to it. And I'm beside myself excited that Chip Zdarsky is going to be writing it. So the premise is kind of like the Justice League is disbanded. Uh, just bad blood and time has just separated them apart. And on the cusp of a murder trial, they're being brought back together. All at the same time, the cosmos' greatest threat is facing them. So I'm hoping that it's going to be dark side. I don't know. This is totally a story buy for me. I'm absolutely pumped to see Zdarsky writing a Justice League title. I love the league, and there's an awesome cover by Derek Robertson. And then uh, the interior artist, Miguel Mendonca, Miguel Mendonca is going to be doing a variant for it. But, uh, yeah, straight up, this is a story buy for me. I'm very stoked for it. I highly suggest anyone checking it out. Chip Zdarsky is an amazing writer. He's doing great things at Marvel and DC as well as Indies right now. So I'm hoping that he, this is just gangbusters and they give him more work. And if you're a fan of any of the main Justice League people, I think this would be a field day for any of you because this should be just an awesome event. So it is a mini series. Not 100% sure how many issues it is, but uh, you don't have to invest too much to check out a guaranteed awesome story. So don't miss out. Let's take it back over to the comic vet to see what his top pick for new comic book day is going to be. Great pick, Finn. It was nice that you let your dad make a cameo. <laughs> Comic Army, my name is Chris. I hope this video finds you safe and well. This is probably take number 10 for me. I'm really tongue-tied this morning, so please bear with me. Uh, my hot pick this week was something that I really struggled with. I kind of say this time after time, but let me tell you, this week features a lot of great books and a lot of books that are on my pull list that I can't really that I can't wait to get to but there is something that's been coming down the pipe that's caught that caught my attention a few weeks ago and now that it's coming out I think everyone should be aware of this book and give it an opportunity if you find it at your LCS the book I'm talking about is from Image Comics and it is Time Before Time issue number one now, it is an extra size debut, and it is an ongoing series, but it only features a cover price of $3.99. It comes from the creative team of Declan Shelby and Joe Palmer, and promises to be a mashup of Looper meets Saga. Now, I did enjoy the film Looper, and I have read Saga, and I did enjoy that award-winning series, so let me tell you a little bit about Time Before Time, issue number one. The year is 2140, and to escape a world with no future, many turn to the Syndicate, a criminal organization who, for the right price, will smuggle you back in time to a better life. After working for the Syndicate for years, Tetsuo and Oscar decide to steal one of their boss's time machines, but soon find out that the thing you can't run from is your past. Now, this book does have a couple of variants, and I'm going to try to pick up as many of these books as I can. It does potentially have some spec value, as it is an issue number one, and image comic books do potentially go up in value, but the story itself is incredibly intriguing, at least to me, and I hope it is intriguing to you as well. So on behalf of Mark and myself, and Finn, <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please consider picking up our two hot picks, and remember everyone, we are Legion.